Hi hello little friends today we are going to read a story book how the elephant got her trunk do you have any idea how she got it even i don't know okay it's about curiosity didn't kill the cat but it did stretch the elephant's nose okay let us see how it happened come on let's get into story reading Have you ever wondered how the elephant got its long trunk? It all started with a little elephant named Ellie, who had a who had instead of a trunk a stubby nose. This didn't seem funny at the time since that's how elephant looked used to look. Ellie was very inquisitive. that means she wondered about everything but that's not how elephants got their trunk in real life this is fantasy okay one day ali sat wondering about all the wonderful things she didn't understand just then an ostrich trotted by ali asked an ostrich where did you get those long tail feathers and why are my tails so very short and ostrich raised her elbow eyebrow eyebrow that is not a question for an elephant no go do what elephants do okay and off she ran leaving a cloud of white feather in her dust ellie frowned What's neat about elephants? She wondered. I can even grow a tail feather. At dinner, Ellie asked her mother, "Ma, ma, what do crocodiles have for dinner?" Mother elephant stomped her big foot, which is a boy. Why do you care what crocodiles eat? Please finish your dinner, dear. Ellie's ear dropped. None of her wondering get real any real answers. And why did her mom stomp her big foot? Foot. Big foot. The next day, Ellie rose early and headed out to walk to see Sir Peric the Wiser. When she got to the forest, she called Sir Peric. Then she tiptoed as best as an elephant can tip toe through the woods, searching for a familiar old burr. My dear Ellie, 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 what brings you to the rainforest today? A A A Squawk asked Sir Parrot as he swooped down from a tall tree and landed right on. Ellie said, "And why are their eyes watching? That's creepy." Ellie had to cross her eyes to see her colorful friend, Sir Parrot. I wonder about so many things that I seem to bother people," she told him sadly. Sir Parrot, the wiser, cloaked his head. Cloaked his head. Cloak. Cloak. Okay, cock. Squawk! I see, 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 see. So you come to bother me, 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 me? What do you want to know, know, know? Well, Ellie started. Why do baboons have funny faces? Do you know what crocodiles eat for dinner? Why can't I have hands like monkeys and many more? Sir Parrot squawked and exclaimed, "Sorry." One question for day, day, day. Ellie thought carefully about what she wondered. Okay, what does a crocodile eat for dinner? Sir Parrot the Wiser thought for a moment. I suggest you ask a cro crocodile die die yourself at the Limpopo River, but don't get too close. Ask him from far, far, far. Squawk! Thanks, sir, parrot. I'm going to ask him right now. And she went off on a dangerous journey. 
As Ailey neared the river, she met a snake snapping in the sunshine. She wondered if the snake knew where to find the crocodile. Excuse me, Ellie whispered, wondering if the snake even had ears. The snake didn't answer, so she said quite a bit louder. Excuse me! The snake jumped high into the air and landed hard back on the rock. Who goes there? The annoyed snake hissed. Ever so sorry, Ellie apologized. But I am trying to find a crocodile, and Sir Parrot the wiser told me to come to this river. The snake curled back into his tight coil. Never you mind the crocodile, he said. Closing his eyes, stay away from him. He popped down, feeling pretty dejected. dejected, as she was wondering. What to do next? A deep voice came nearby. So you're looking for the crocodile, you say? Ellie jump! Oh yes! Do you know where I can find one? I'm wondering what they eat. She asked excitedly and confused. Why do she? Why does she need to know that? That she wanted to know. It's elephants, buffaloes, and things. She has many questions. She wanted to know or answer for all those. So she What's started the from the first eats one. It? Yeah, she wanted to know that. Two eyes poked out of the water, followed by a loud snout. Long snout with sharp teeth. I can help you for another crocodile. Helly was so excited. It's you? I'm so happy to meet you, Ellie said. I have been wondering all day about what you eat. What we eat is a very well kept secret. Come close, I will whisper it to you. Forgetting Sir Parrot, the wisp wiser's advice, Ellie leaned close to the crocodile's mouth, her feet sliding down the muddy bank. Well, today I think I'll have a young elephant, and uh, with a quick snap, the crocodile chomp his clamp or chomp his l his jaw over Ellie's unsuspected stubby nose. Stop it! This is not. Kind thing to do. Ellie was beginning to wonder why she ever sought his wisdom in the first place. Oh Godness! He's the snake. I cannot sleep with all this racket. The snake then coiled around Ellie's leg and around a tree trunk, and he pulled as hard as he could. Oh, come on, come back, elephant! You are going to die. The crocodile thrashed mightily, but the elephant and the snake working together were too strong for him. At last, he reluctantly let go and sank back into the water. Pshhh! Ellie huffed. That's when she realized her stubby nose had been stretched out very long indeed. That's no longer a nose, my dear elephant. It seems you now have a trunk, exclaimed Snake. But how does she know it's a trunk when no animal in the world had a trunk then? Did he time travel? Is a snake all-knowing time traveling being? It's a story. And so Ellie had a new and wonderful trunk. It came in quite handy to pick up foods and sticks. She could also suck in water and shoot it out like a hose. She could even see Sir Parrot without closing her eyes. While everyone chuckled at Ellie's new trunk, she was glad to have it. Even if she did have to wrestle a crocodile to get it, I wondered, thought Ellie. Why all elephants don't want one? 
and uh, and it turned out they did like early do you wonder about many things that's great just make sure you ask an adult for the answers and not a crocodile i don't think you had like a trunk as much as he does or you can search it up in google oh Thank you for watching till the end of the story. If you watched till the end, you deserve a clap. Hear more, like more, share more, which is the opposite of